Hello all and welcome to another installment of Red Marmot Gaming. I am the Red Marmot and today we are going to be discussing Black Desert Online. Again, with all my videos this will be a little bit of a preview into just materials the game is currently running on. Specifically today I'm going to be talking about the Imperial crafting system, the Imperial Trader. Uh, so for more advanced players this might be old hat, for new or returning players this might be news for you. Specifically, I'm going to cover the cooking Imperial Trader, who is also called the Imperial Craftsman, and just cover some ways to make additional passive income. As I'm sure many of you know, AFK fishing appears to be one of the biggest ways to make passive income, but this may also prove useful to you. So for this method, obviously, you will need to have cooking. The methods I'm going to describe for you all involve you having artisan cooking or lower, in order to make the actual Imperial crafting boxes that are need to turn into the Imperial Trader. And um, the respective recipes all require apprentice or lower. So there are gonna be four different recipes and those recipes are honeyed wine, beehive cookies, boiled eggs, and omelets. Now, the reason why I say these are all passive ways to gain income is because you really do not need to do anything outside of the actual cooking yourself, which you can AFK cook at your leisure whenever you have all the materials. All the other materials for the most part, depending on the recipe of these four, are very profitable and you do not have to do anything except for gather um, the materials with your workers. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things you'll need. First, you'll need contribution points and you will need the following nodes. You'll need Finto Farm right here for the chicken node here. And we're not interested so much in the chicken. We want the eggs. So it helps if you get a human worker for this type of thing, because they have a lot of luck and that will proc the secondary window, which is eggs from that particular resource. You'll also get chickens, but you'll also get more eggs, around seven to 10. You'll also need Bartali farm. Again, this is south of Velia. This is all in the Velia region. And one thing we want is potatoes. And the other thing we want, again, is as many chicken nodes as we can get. So again, chicken for here for the eggs. Um, a note on the potato is that we want any type of starch. So wheat will work as well. But again, if you want to be very slim on the amount of contribution points you're going to be using, you only need these two nodes around Velia to get started. The other node you will need is Alejandro's farm, which is northwest of Heidel here. And you are particularly going to be going for the cooking honey. You need that. Unfortunately, there is no other node in the game at this time that provides cooking honey, except for Alejandro's farm. So this will be the node that you'll want to get a worker on as well. As you can see here, I also have this wheat node as well, gathering wheat in this section. I have a big network for workers, but again, for the potato is any kind of starch, so corn will work as well. But generally, if you're going to be slim on choosing which nodes you're going for to work for this process, you only really need Finto Farm, Bartali, and Alejandro Farm. So it's only three nodes and a couple of materials there, only a handful of workers. So already it's a very cheap investment to get a lot of gain out of it. What you're going to be looking for is getting a lot of these materials and getting the eggs here, the honeyed wine, and also, of course, the potatoes or wheat or some kind of variant. Now, when you have these materials, you're going to want to go to your processing window once you've cooked them. Now, the recipes for these particular items are pretty easy to get. Um, if you go to BDO database or any other database, it will show you what these particular recipes are for honey wine, beehive cookie, etc., etc. But I will go into them a little bit just so you're aware of what they are. For honeyed wine, it's a little bit more in depth. You will need cooking honey, you will need essence of liquor, and the other materials you get from the vendor. So sugar, not raw sugar, regular sugar, and water. Um, to get essence of wine is also very easy as well, or essence of liqueur. 
Um, there is another node that can give you fruits. Any fruits work. So if you are also a farmer, this also applies to farmers. If you are farming and you can get strawberries or any other kind of fruit, grapes, etc., you can use this for this process. If you farm chickens on your own personal farm, you can get eggs that way, etc. Um, but for the honey variants, it's a little bit more in depth. So I'll start with the more advanced thing and then I'll move down to the more easier type of method with this passive cooking. For the honeyed wine, you'll need this node as well, Costa Farm, and get the grapes. Grapes, you then turn into essence of liquor using grounded up wheat, potato, corn, any one you like, but again, you are gathering some of that from Bartali, so why not use potatoes? And you need leavening agent. Leavening agent, again, comes from the NPC. So this is, again, something you don't have to gather yourself. You cook those together, and that will give you essence of liqueur. Essence of liqueur, again, you'll need three honey, three cooking honey, two essence of liqueur, two sugar, six water, and that gives you honey wine. Now, honey wine is apprentice level to make. But the box to turn into the Imperial Trader is an artisan box. So you need to have at least cooking artisan. But still, honeyed wine is a good thing to make. You can make it in bulk. It procs a lot of different things and some side uh, materials that you can use later on, specifically for the beehive cookie. Now, the beehive cookie, again, it requires honey. It requires four dough. Again, you can make dough by crushing potatoes or corn or wheat and then mixing that with water all through the processing window. So press L and then go to crush, grind, and then press L again. Combine the wheat that was grounded or the potato that was grounded or the corn that was grounded with water by shaking and you'll get dough. So four dough, six cooking honey, two eggs, and four milk. Now, again, like I said earlier, if you are a little more advanced, you probably do have a farm or you probably already do have milk from cooking previously because if you cook previously and you have cooked a lot, you start to get these byproducts, which are like this, these byproducts, dish with more ingredients, dish with weird texture, taken out food, and strongly seasoned dish. This particular one, strongly seasoned dish, is the one, if you look here, which can give you milk. So if you use this, if you cook a lot, you'll have a lot of these on the side. You can just take strongly seasoned dish and give them to the NPC that will take them. There's one in Heidel. He'll take them and he'll give you milk in exchange. So you can get your milk that way. So I don't recommend starting out with the honeyed variants for this process, but if you do, you can but you're, you probably won't have that side dish. The other way to get it is to come to Ulvia. Since this is all located in this one region, very simple to do. And there's a farm in Ulvia to the Northwest that has nothing but cows. You can milk those cows through a mini game with energy and get milk that way too. But I only really recommend that if you're starting out with the, the actual methods for the beehive cookie or the honeyed wine. If you're not, you can work your way up from the eggs. So like I said earlier, we're gonna start from the more advanced and work our way down. Um, the beehive cookies require that milk, so you'll have to take that extra step. But outside of that, the other ones don't. These are all things your workers can gather for you. And the other materials needed for the cooking process are all supplied by the vendor. So this is a very easy method in order to get passive income, have a lot of these materials on the side and then generate these crates. So both those crates, both those materials, the honeyed wine and the beehive cookie, go to make artisan boxes. So again, for that method, you do need to have at least artisan cooking. Let's move into professional. Professional, the meal for that is omelets. And omelets is very easy. This is why you wanted the chicken nodes. Again, Bartali Farm and Finto Farm both for the chicken node to get the eggs. And I highly recommend putting a high luck worker, more than likely a human, on those nodes so you can gather those eggs or proc more often. And contrary to 
many tool tips that tell you about what you need for the omelets. Again, it is any type of starch. So corn works, and that's usually what's said in most recipes, but corn works, so does potato, and so does wheat. So you can use any of those and any other kind of starch, like barley, it will also work for this recipe. What you need for omelets is five starch, so a corn or a potato, etc. You need olive oil, five eggs, and two salt. Olive oil and salt, again, come from the vendor. So again, this is another method where you can do it passively. You can keep sending at your workers, and whenever you're ready to cook, you can want to cook a month from now, a week from now. Just go to your warehouse where your worker has gathered all the materials, and you're good to go. Um, because these materials have already been gathered for you. You don't only have to spend money to get the, the olive oil and the salt from the vendor, the NPC vendor that sells all the other cooking materials like that in any major city. Once you've done that, you should be able to make the omelets and then you should be good. Again, omelets take apprentice level to make and they take professional in terms of making the imperial trade box and we'll get into that a little bit later. Now for the last one. The last one is a beginner one and again includes the eggs. This is even more simple. All you need your workers to gather are the chicken notes for the eggs. These are boiled eggs. The other materials include six water, cooking wine, and salt. Again, all materials that can be bought from the NPC vendor. The three eggs you get pretty easy to get from your workers gathering from these two nodes, Bartali and Finto Farm. Now, again, you need beginner level in order to make boiled bird eggs or these boiled eggs, but you need apprentice cooking in terms of the imperial trade boxes in order to make them. So now that we've covered the materials needed, and again, those nodes are Bartali Farm, Finto Farm, and Alejandro farm. We can talk more about the actual Imperial Trader. To access that, press L. Go down to the Imperial Cuisine packaging. And when you click on that, you'll see a list of processing knowledge. You can process this anywhere. Typically what you want to do though, is you want to have a suit of sorts, either the maid outfit or the, um, butler outfit if you are a male and process this from your inventory so you make all these various foods then you process this from your from your warehouse inventory to make these various types of foods or crates so you can see here some of mine are grayed out because i've never bothered to make these other ones that are in blue i have made these before but the ones i'm covering right now are easy ones to make with minimal effort but big return so things, again, like the beehive cooking box, and again, like the wine. You need artisan, like it shows you here, artisan's honey wine cooking box. But other things like the omelet, you need professional, and other things still, like the um, boiled eggs, you only need um, apprentice. Can't apparently have to find the boiled eggs. Oh, here they are, boiled eggs. So yes, you only need those levels for them. So again, the eggs are easy to start out with. As you move on, you can move into the ones that involve the honey. But if you start doing all of them, it really does work out very well for you in the long run. What you're going to be looking at is that you'll be making when you process these boxes anywhere, or hopefully you're making anywhere from 20 to 40 boxes in a given run. That's what you want to aim for. Because at around nine to 10 boxes, depending on which one you're using. Obviously, the more higher quality ones are going to be more fruitful. You're going to be looking at anywhere from nine to 10 boxes, roughly 1.8, 2.5, and sometimes 3 million, depending on which one of these you're using. And that's just individually. And you will proc additional boxes, like any other processing me method, when you are processing. So this actually can work out very well and be very lucrative, again, for minimal, minimal effort. Um, just in general, for all traders, the traders, the Imperial traders, just generally, 
they are channel locked. And what I mean by that is once you fill the requisition on one trader on one channel, or if it's already fulfilled and you missed out, you can go to another channel and that trader may not have the requisition filled out. So you can actually turn in items to them. The 10 minute CD still applies to them. So when you switch channels, you still have to wait 10 minutes before you can interact with them. That's true of all the traders. So the Imperial Cuisine and the Fisher. Now, since we're on the topic of the traders, I do want to speak to the Imperial Fisher for a moment. And there's one here. The Imperial Fishers are in Velia, Glish, Etheria, and Splashing Point, which is in Medea. Splashing Point, for most people who don't know, because many people miss this node, it is to the south of Altanova and to the left of Marnie's lab, and it's right over here, Splashing Point. There's an Imperial Trader in this place. It's an Otter Village. Um, the other Imperial Trader is in Etheria, which is north of Calpheon. And again, like all the other traders, when you go to the Imperial Fishing, you'll see here in a moment, this is the requisition. The Imperial Fishers only take blue and yellow fish. So it can be hard to fulfill the requisitions because a lot of people, when they AFK fish, and I'll show you, for example, they go over to a place like Velia, which has a blue and gold fishing spot. And this is an example of one right here. As you can see, everyone's AFK fishing in this location for that purpose. Whenever they get back or whenever they feel that they can fulfill a requisition, they're going to come back with those fish that they caught and bring them back to the Imperial Fisher back here in Velia. Now, the thing about the Imperial Fisher that is different from the cooker, very different, is that you have to have the nodes connected. For example, if I want to turn in my fish to this Imperial trader here, I would need to make sure that either A, I was fishing in the Velia gold spot, or let's say I caught my fish in Altanova. If I caught my fish in Altanova, as you can see by this trade line here, it's gold, I would need to make sure that I connected all my nodes back to Velia if I was going to turn in my fish to the Imperial Trader. Keep in mind, there is no distance bonus added to this. There is no distance bonus added to this process but you do need to have your nodes connected from where you caught the fish to the Imperial Trader. Now, while we're talking about fish, the thing I wanna mention about fish is that unlike most materials, their nodes aren't always so clear. This is the other reason people choose places like Velia, et cetera, that are already towns and cities to AFK fish because it's very clear where the fish came from. If you're active fishing in the deep ocean, let's say out here somewhere in, the, in these regions by these islands, you need to look at the fish and actually mouse over the fish and check to see where the origin is. In the tooltip for the fish, it will tell you where the origin is. The origin will say some kind of island or some kind of place if you're out in the deep ocean. That is the node you need in order to turn it into the Imperial Fisher. You need the node where it says the fish is from XYZ origin. That's the node you need. You don't need to connect all of these various islands if you're deep sea fishing. You need the node related to that fish. So as you can see here, I have a few. Barmy Island, I think for Cron Islands. Um, Luviano Island for Balanos Islands and actually Olvia Coast for the Olvia Seas. So that's just an example, but you need the origin point for those fish. When you mouse over the fish, it'll show you. But again, if you're only AFK fishing, you're not active fishing, you're going to a gold and blue hotspot off the coast of Velia, like here, where I just showed you where those other fishers were, or for example, in Tariff, off the docks there, then you only need to connect the city, you don't have to invest in it at all because cities are already invested, to the Imperial Fisher you want to go to. So if you're going from Tariff to Splashing Point, 
you need to have Splashing Point connected. That's typically how the Imperial Fishers work. Again, with, with how it is with all Imperial traders, it's channel locked. So all you need to do is if something is full, either go to another Imperial trader for that purpose or switch channels. And hopefully that particular Imperial trader is not full. Again, the locations for the Imperial Fishers are Velia, Etheria, which is all the way over here, Glish, which is actually not that far from Heidel, right here, and Splashing Point. That's the location for all the Imperial Fishers. Now, for the Imperial Cuisine, that's a bit different. I talked about the Imperial Cuisine earlier. You do not need to have the nodes connected. And again, no distance bonus applies. The reason being is because with the Imperial Fisher, no distance bonus applies as well. But the reason being, you don't have to have the nodes connected here for the Imperial Trader for cooking is because the end product is made by the player and the player can make that anywhere. So it doesn't matter. So you don't have to have any nodes connected and there is no distance bonus. The cookers are located in Heidel, Olvia, Calfion, and Altanova. That's the location of all of the Imperial cookers. As with the Imperial traders, if the requisition is full on that channel, so if you go here and you, I don't have any fish at the moment, but if you go here and you try to sell all your imperial goods to the imperial trader and it tells you purchase has already been met sale has already been met that means that they're full but again with the fisher just like with the cooker if it is full on your channel you can switch channels and go to another one you have to wait 10 minutes unfortunately and you'll be able to open this window and see if you can sell there conversely you can try to go to another trader on the same channel there are four of each Again, for the Fishers, it's Etheria, Velia, Glish, and Splashing Point. For cooking, it is Altanova, Calfion, Heidel, and I always forget this one. Altanova, Calfion, Heidel, and Olvia. Olvia is very forgettable. You start the game out there, then you never go back. Usually. But again, what I'm describing is quick and easy methods to make money that require little effort, just some life skills, and ways for you to passively make income, especially if you don't have a lot of playtime. So hopefully these methods are new to you. Hopefully you learned something new and it was helpful. And of course, as always, uh, I'll be making more videos or more previews, not just for Black Desert, but for other things as well, just covering various little hints and tips and general previews. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please subscribe for future videos for Red Marmot Gaming.